Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Aspiring online store owners, ready to add a store to your GoDaddy website? In this tutorial, we will show you how to set up an online store using GoDaddy's website builder. Stay tuned as we learn how to showcase your store in GoDaddy. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So first thing first guys is I will need you to go ahead and open your GoDaddy uh, website or GoDaddy site. After that we need of course to own an account or to own a website or a domain name uh, that we're gonna connect it with the website. To do so simply go to here. So you have two options. Go to here and click on GoDaddy website builder and click on the first thing that will appear which is the free trial. So you can use it for free and you can try a lot of things in it. There is also another way which is basically by buying a domain so in case you had a domain with GoDaddy you will be able to actually have uh, basically something like um, a website within the domain that you're gonna get. So here let me show you like right here so I'm gonna go to my product and I'm going to click on the dashboard of that specific product that I have which is basically my domain so click on manage and then they're gonna take us exactly to the dashboard here I have already my website here so what I'm gonna do is to remake the website so I'm gonna click on the left side menu click on website right here and as you can see here you will have all the things that you can add to your site now what I'm gonna do is to click on edit site since I have it already made you guys will have the option to create a new website now since we have added this section let me just remove some uh, sections that I want not be needed at the moment delete section delete and now how we can add a simple start to our website so first of all during the creation which is the first creation of the website when you first of all uh, you try to create your site they will ask you what kind of things are you willing to do on your website make sure to check every single thing that has a relationship with store like card store anything that will help you to manage your stores make sure to check it so they can add it for you as you can see because you can see here right like i have here the shortcuts and i find here store so click on them and as you can see we can click here to manage our store so once we clicked on it they will take us to another window here we have also the uh, edit add products button but let's not uh, jump into it right now we simply have to go right here so here we can manage our store in general we can have here as you can see here it's gonna be uh, under websites and under email it's gonna be in the commerce section so here you will have a ways to sell so first of all you have to add a product so to add a product there is two ways the first one is basically by adding a product which would, and the second one is by importing the product so let's add a product manually so what we're gonna do is give it a name give it a title a picture a price etc so let's give it a name for example here I'm gonna name it iPhone X here the price is gonna be for example six thousand dollar six hundred dollars and I'm gonna for example set it for sixty five or uh, 56 yeah let's say let's call it uh, 560 dollars and what I'm gonna do also is add an image so let's search for an iPhone X image or not iPhone X come on iPhone 15 and let's add PNG next to it so we can find a good image of the iPhone let's try to find a good quality picture um, yeah I think that one is good even though it's not PNG but it still does the job add image and I'm going to click add image right here go to download and this is the exactly image that I wanted to download so here click on insert and the image will be added right here so we simply have to edit this one to make it iPhone 15 here product category let's click here and click on add to find a new category so I'm gonna name it for example here iPhone or Apple here description um, we can have like all Apple products and basically yeah correct this for me please let's go click on save and yeah this is Apple here the standard uh, non taxable uh, here if you have like SKU for it just add it I'm just gonna call it 15 and um, yeah this is something Apple phone and yeah this is exactly what we want you can add also a description for it so there is more in-depth 
details about the product itself so you can for example here use chat gpt for this or we can go to a random store that has iphone 15 and we can literally click on it and we will find the description for that specific iphone in the description area so for example here we are on the apple store which will not give us exactly the description that we are looking for yeah, we, there's no details that we want. These details are basically designed to be as pictures in the website, so we can't really copy anything from them. Let's check, for example, other stores that are basically going to be like this one, such an example. So you can go here and keep uh, copying all these basically details and paste them right here. Make sure to remove every single link. So we can, for example, Control L or let's remove it. Let's remove this one, go for example to Microsoft Word, paste the whole thing in it and remove the links and everything. So this is a way that I use to actually remove links. So I'm going to do that, copy uh, like that, make sure to go and remove every single uh, formatting and it should be something like that normally. Uh, if you don't want to have links, well then I think you have to go somewhere else, I think it's in this area so um, I don't know exactly what is it but I think it will be references or something like that so make sure to just check it out just remove the link so they don't really take you to any other link that you don't want it to be included in your website and simply just like that don't save copy paste and then save it right here and the product should be added as you can see in your store so for now this is the product this is the price of it six hundred dollars and it is being sold for five sixty dollars in our store you can add multiple products. this is not only limited to that here you can find all your products and here you can find also your orders so as you can see here your orders and of course you have to do the settings of your store so basically you have to finish everything so you can have a clarification about the business info where your streets at where your city at where you are located and other things such as the business or, or the email business of your work the business phone so a customer can actually have a contact with you and guys this is only gonna be available in case you had the commerce plan with within your store in case you didn't have it these uh, tools will not be available for you so here we have the payment method and how you're gonna get paid so here as you can see you just simply have to click on it and there is so many uh, payment methods so there is the quarterly payments there is the credit card payments such as PayPal commerce platform square stripe and there is accept PayPal and accept offline payments such as uh, like here as you can see provide instruction to your customer on how to pay and this will appear in the checkout and order confirmation emails accept payments outside of your online store provide your own instruction for payments so you can for example do cash on delivery and show them the process and yeah this is basically it guys thanks a lot for watching see you guys in the next tutorial